Hi everybody, it's Drayton, worldsgreatestkiting.com. Today, I wanted to show you another very cool kite. I'm in my sewing room right now, and I want to show you this kite that a friend of mine gave me. It's the, actually the first kite that anyone ever made for me. It's right here. It's a Japanese-style fighter kite. I'll tell you some more information on it at, at another time, but... Isn't that sweet? My friend AJ made this for me. We were in a kite making workshop with Wayne Hosking about four or five months ago. And in that workshop where we made these, uh, he made that exact kite and later on presented it to me. I thought it was very cool. It's the first kite anyone has ever made and given to me. So I wanted to know from you guys, has anyone ever given you a kite? before. Not necessarily made you one themselves, but has anyone ever given you one? And if so, what is the kite that they gave you? Did you fly it? Are you still flying it today? Maybe you can send me a picture of what that kite is and I'll show everybody. It'd be cool. I also wanted to show you uh, a couple other things here hanging in the in the sewing room. So if you don't know what these are, you're gonna find out. These are a bunch of feathers. They're from this last Kite Mania. One of my favorites right here. Very functional. Indoor boomerang from Lee Sedgwick. And then the famous bat feather. All hand sewn, look at that. From the same person who made this kite over here, AJ, uh, who is also a part of the Kiting Tampa Bay uh, Kite Club. But I wanted to show you that uh, all these feathers and how I display those, and I'll talk more individually about these as time goes on, but I wanted to show you a couple things in my world, in my sewing room, uh, so you guys can start to get to know it a little bit. But anyway, Send me a couple pictures of what uh, what kind of kites you might have around. Some of your favorite kite. I'd like to see what they are. So guys, I was looking at this old magazine. Check it out. Summer 1991. The Stunt Kite Quarterly. And... It's got a lot of cool articles in it, but there's, a, there's one that I was just looking at. Look at that old rev. Isn't that cool? Now, <clears throat> I just pointed out this feather. We, we would call it a feather. And like I said, I'll explain what these are later. But uh, I pointed out this one from Lee Sedgwick. And look right here. Lee Sedgwick. Talking about no wind flying and diagram of upward looking down uh, maneuver. A whole article about this. And then look at this. If you saw yesterday's vlog, it was about the flexi foil. And right there it is. And what I found out today from my friend Kelly that these people, Cobra Kites, actually invented the flexi foil. And if I am correct in this, they were a couple of English fellows um, that did that. So if you guys want to see more from these old magazines about kites, I think they're really cool. I, I got a stack of these things, and uh, there's some really interesting stuff in here. So I don't want to ruin it for you. I don't want to show you more than what you want to see. But if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments, and I'll do maybe a, a couple articles a week, and I'll show you what... What kind of cool old things are in these old kite magazines? It's pretty cool. These Florida sunsets are really nice.